Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to log a support request using the Industry Online Support Tool. Not only is this method the quickest and most efficient way to log a support request, but it's also been developed to present all the relevant information in front of you as you proceed through the logging process. In many cases, this allows you to answer your query before requesting further support from a Siemens support engineer. Furthermore, this approach now provides access to your own My Support profile so you can track your current requests, view any previous requests, manage your favourite products and bookmarks, and view your own personal messages to other forum members. In this video, we will run through this technique of logging a support request and have a look at some of the additional features that come alongside it. To proceed, we must log in via the link at the top of the page. If you don't have an industry support login, click register to create a free profile. When you have successfully logged in, click on the support request button and then create support request link. This will take you to the start of the support request logging wizard, a simple six step process to get your SR logged. Firstly, we will need to identify the product. This can be done through entering a simple description or the part number into the search box, which will search through the product database and provide any relevant options. In this example, we have a query about our S7 1200 PLC. Secondly, we need to define the application case. Depending on the product selected, we will be given a number of categories into which our problem lies. Each category splits further to describe your specific problem. In this particular instance, we have a communication error between our PLC and Modbus Slave. Now that we have defined our own inquiry, the support site is searched to see if there is an FAQ, manual or application case that can provide the information we are after. In this example, we can see there is already an FAQ regarding communication between our S7-1200 CPU and Modbus TCP. Clicking on this hyperlink opens the FAQ in a new tab, and after reading this information, the SR may then be resolved without continuing the logging process. However, if the case is not resolved or we need further clarification, we simply proceed to the next step. In this section, we can provide further details about our problem and what we require. The benefit here is that we can provide as much information as is necessary, which allows the support engineer to get straight to work on the inquiry with all the appropriate information. We can also attach files, such as screenshots, diagnostic information or archived projects, which enables the support engineer to solve our inquiry both more quickly and more effectively. Now, we double check to make sure all our contact information is correct. If not, you can simply change any personal data in your My Support profile. Furthermore, we specify our preferred method of being contacted before proceeding to the final summary page. Finally, we confirm that all the information we have entered is correct. Log the SR and a support engineer will be in contact with us shortly. Now that we have sent our request, we can track the status of our SR via our My Support cockpit. Clicking on the My Requests link opens a page which contains all of our current and previous SRs. We can see the SR we have just logged is at the top of the list with a status of Open. We can open up the request to show further details about the case and any attachments. When the support engineer has resolved our problem, he will send us an email which will also become visible under the SR Activities header. Therefore, if we encounter the same problem in the future, we can quickly and easily refer back to this request overview. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.